All right, guys, welcome back to episode number two on the VL project. Um, just about to paint it. Just got to vacuum it one more time. Just get that little bit of rust off and um, I'll be painting it. This is a spray gun I'm using for today. Just a Blackridge from Super Cheap. I'm not going to use a $600 spray gun to do polyurethane. I don't have all the quiet, all the right cleaning equipment and I'd rather not um, mess up my gun. So 80 bucks to do that and plus I can use it as a primer gun too. It's got a pretty big tip so super cheap gun works. Just make sure you spray it out with thinners before you use it just to get all the, um, I don't know, the oils and stuff they use in it. And um, yeah, just about ready to paint. I've already repaired the roof and as you can see I have pumped the paint on. I did not want any chance of rust to be able to get back in there. I mean, on most veils, you'll have a look and you will see, you take down your roof lining and you'll see um, surface rust just from condensation and stuff. So I wanted to avoid that by pumping some paint on. Yeah, could have got a bit nicer, but who cares? You're not going to see it. It's there to protect it, so yeah. Alright guys, so we got the uh, inside painted, um, the super cheap gun didn't move with pressure or fans so that's why you see in the time lapse uh, me going real slow and on pencil fan because it just didn't want to work. Um, fuck the $80 super cheap gun, <laughs> that's a terrible idea, I'll use my good gun next time. Um, but yeah that's done, I'll walk you through that in a minute. Um, but we've got a diff back. Uh, Going to paint that and the same sort of stuff, polyurethane, just tough stuff. It'll stop all the stain chips and stuff. Um, just want to make that look a bit nice. Not going to go crazy on it. Not a show car once again. So um, yeah, we'll do that. And then once we wait for that to dry, we will throw the drop box in for the B&M shifter. And um, yeah, I'll walk you through that, guys. I don't think it's a direct drop in. I think you have to cut a fair, not a fair bit, but a little bit just to make it slot in um, and it retains the factory um, pot rivets in the uh, setting console bit so um, yeah I'll, I'll walk you through that. Alright guys so this is my little setup to paint the diff, just going to roll it back and forward on this, get the top down just to make sure we don't paint the ground but um, yeah I'm just going to scotch it and just get all the dirt and stuff off, I'm not going to go crazy, don't need to worry about the rust and the stuff. I really don't care. If you've got a problem with it, you can fight me. <laughs> but now, nah, um, I'll um, walk you through that. I don't have any masking tape or anything, which is a fucking rookie move. So I've got some electrical tape. Um, I think I'm gonna mask up the dip that. I'd rather not use electrical tape being a spray painter, but you know what? We gotta make fucking strawberry sh strawberry jam out of shit. So that's what we gotta do. This is my scotchy we're using. Red scotchy. I'm just going over all this stuff. Just um, using uh, prep style too, soaking in prep style and just taking all the dirt and tar and stuff off. Um scales up a bit. Um so it's alright, I think it's about I think it's the same grade as about 240. So here, um, got that all pretty much ready. I'm just going to clean it up now, and then we'll hit that with some paint. Alrighty, so I managed to MacGyver it up and just use a bit of um, electrical tape and some fucking packing foam or whatever you call it. Um, got it all prepped. All as best as gonna get. Don't really care. Same sort of stuff. Yeah, uh, four to one. 
good stuff. It takes a bit to dry. Then it's the hardener. AU540, TB540, you know the deal. This is my gun. GDR Pro Light, the Vilbus. Really good gun. Good all rounder. It's a bit of a clean, but yeah. Um, obviously, a strainer. Mixing cup. Good mixing cups. You've obviously, got your ratios there. You can go for the one. For those who haven't painted, um, yeah. Alright, so I mixed her, she's in the gun, just a bit of spray, just show you what colour I go on, it's like a metallic dark grey. I was going to go black, but I thought um, if I want to be able to see oil leaks and stuff, I don't want to go looking for it. So, um, a bit of metallic um, gloss should show up any leaks, no one might like, I'll probably have a leak, but this is what we're doing. So yeah, just a bit to hit it. All painted. That's what we got going on. So that colour. Looks a bit fancy. That's it. Nothing special. Looks alright though. A bit different. Maybe it will be a show car. Nah, just check it. It looks alright. Um, no way around. Yeah, got a bit of metallic to it. That's it. Maybe a little MacGyver held up alright. So yeah, and that draws. Wait for the drum brakes to get here. Now uh, this was a 25 spawn disc brake setup. This one. Which I think was an option on the balloons or whatever. Um, but I didn't want to go disc because the discs hit, obviously. So, um, yeah, just waiting for the drum brakes out to arrive, and then we will throw the bitch in. And then I've got the VL Turbo 28 Spline Diff. If anyone's interested, hit me up. I'll show you what we got going on here. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't. But that's it. So, yeah, that's the diff. I'm going to show you what we got next. There's a drop box there. Drilled out the holes already. Um, just got to cut it all and pop it back in. But that's it. We'll um, go from there. Right, -o, so the hole is cut. I just bashed in a, a tiny bit. But um, we cut the hole around here. It's a little cut out for the cable. Um, this now just drops in. Lines up with all the holes, and then like so there with the holes, and that's basically dummy fitted up. So um, I'm just gonna pull it out again and um, clean these up and just um, paint them black so it won't rust. Now, it's a tip if you're ever cutting something or if you're drilling holes or something, make sure you just brush touch it. You don't have to go mental and go some two-pack paint. But I'd recommend just getting um, aerosol can and spraying it on there. Or even if you've got some 2K paint and that's all you got, just um, put a little bit in a bottle cap and then just brush it on. Dab it over these holes like so. And then around your edges that you cut. Just don't leave bare metal anywhere. Otherwise, it'll just start to rust. You won't see it you know in the first couple of years but if you're holding your car on for a long time for a long time and you want to um keep it forever i just recommend doing those little things just to prevent further rust hello right, guys so i've chosen to go with uh, a rib nut like a nut set on here just to make it reversible if i ever want to take it out i want everything to be pretty much reversible um, I don't want to have to do some cutting if I ever take stuff out. Oh, I ain't there. It's only I was only going to use pot rivets, so I wouldn't have taken much to get them out. But everything is reversible, so if need be, I can pop this out just by unscrewing. And these are your rivet nuts. If you don't know how to use them, and you want to do this, jump on YouTube and they'll, um, there's a video on how to use one of these guns. Pretty straightforward actually. 
the first bit of it's a bit of a muck around if you don't know what you're looking at but you get you get the gist of it pretty easy so yeah that's what I've done um, put the rest in and then we'll screw it down and that will be pretty much done as I said before um, I'm not going to put this in and keep it in we'll just keep it out of the weather I'll put it back in the box that's what I've done we fit it up and uh, mainly just put this in so yeah I'll move these out of the way Lines up with the original holes. Where are we? Here we go. So that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing too special. Um, might pop rivet that. Don't know. See how we go. Could probably just screw in, to be honest. Um, that's about it, guys. So um, keep going with that, and then I'll show you the pretty much finished product. All right, guys. So the shift is mounted. Um, all the nuts hurts through there into the factory mounts and then um, marked out my holes there was two holes already in this drop box so i used them to drill bigger holes to fit these um, bolts and then marked these two here and then drilled them and they're a bit of a bastard to get in but it'll work and um yeah you're not moving. So she all works. There you go, first, second, third, then neutral, reverse, park. And that's that. Thanks for watching guys. Yeah, next time um we will um, get the VL diff in right there. Um, didn't have enough time. Um, I want to get this video to you guys before not too long, so that's why we don't have the diff in. Still waiting on drum brakes and stuff, so when that arrives, then we'll have video three up. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, post to any VL groups that you want or whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Leave comments, guys, if you want. And um, feel free to ask questions. I'm always here to answer them. Um, that's why I'm doing these videos, just to show you. I mean, everyone wants a B&M shifter in their VL, and that's a simple way to do it. I mean, yeah, just got me... Um, there's my kit. Coming here. All that stuff. And super cheap. We've got some washers. Some um, M5 bits. Some M5 bolts, and... Bob's your uncle, and that's it, guys. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. All righty, guys. So, we've done the paint on the inside of the car. We've done the paint on the inside of the car. Use better words, fuckhead. I'm over this. Look at the fucking paint left in me nose. Mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs>